This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. So this dryer is not heating up, so we're going to set it for time dry. And we want to be uh, near the beginning of time dry. If you go to here, touch up, it's the heat won't come on, so early on is the best way to do it. And if we look, we press start, if we look down here, we'll be able to see if there's a little flame or if the igniter is glowing. And usually there's a little plastic piece right here, and you can just pry it off. So I'm going to press start, and then I'll look in there and see if we see a glow from the igniter. If there's no glow from the igniter, it's either a broken igniter or more commonly a little thermal fuse. Let's see what happens. So we have it set for, let's go high heat, time dry. It takes a few seconds for it to light up. I'm going to look in there. I'm just looking for a glow so far. Oh yeah, there's a little glow. That's good. Let's see if it ignites. It might just be the uh, primary and secondary gas coils. Oh yeah, we got a flame. So, we just got to replace the gas coils. They're just getting worn out. So it's, it's not keeping the flame on long enough. Another thing to check too is you come out and look for the volume of air. And this thing was pretty restricted, so I'm going to clean that too. A lot of stuff in there. It's designed to keep varmints out, like mice and things from getting inside. And when the air blows really hard, these veins open up and they allow the air to flow. But sometimes you get an occlusion, you get a bunch of stuff caught. So we know we're down like 33% right there. And that's part of what causes a dryer to have trouble drying. So you can just grab that stuff, pull it out. Also these come out, if you bend in the middle, you can get the little pin to come out of its hole. And you can pull out the next one. You can do the same on this one. In fact, this one's pretty cool. I never saw this design, but this whole thing will actually hinge up. That makes it even easier. I like that. Clever. So we can see a lot of stuff, mainly in the front here. We'll get rid of that. And what you definitely don't want to have, though, on these systems is like a screen right here because those always get clogged up and that's going to make your thermal fuse blow because they get too hot. I'm going to clean it out. I'll leave it a little bit more with this tool. It's called a Lint Eater from LintEater.com. And it's pretty good for getting rid of lint inside the dryer vent. So I'm just going to go in there. Pretty cool. It breaks up the dirt, but also then pulls it out. Got it unplugged. I'm going to remove the filter. Clean that up a little bit too. And we have to remove two Phillips head screws here. Phillips head screwdriver. Two screws come out. Then we're going to hinge this up. There's a couple of things we want to push in, like with a screwdriver or a paint scraper here and here. Sometimes you can even pull it towards you and lift it up. This one may, won't, maybe won't let go. So once that let go, lets go, you can hinge that back. Be careful this doesn't fall on you. Pull it away from the wall a little bit more. And it can lay back and be safe. We have to disconnect this modular connector for the door switch. So usually you can pull it apart. Watch out for the sharp metal. 
sometimes you gotta pry it with a small screwdriver. So we got a small screwdriver. Comes apart. We're gonna take out a screw here and a screw here, and we can lift off the whole front panel. So we're gonna remove that screw. Comes out, another one on this side. And then you can lift up on this panel, pull the tortoise. So these little teeth here went inside here and we lifted it out. So now we can get to those coils pretty easily. Just need a Phillips head screwdriver. These are the primary and secondary gas coils. Part number 530393177. These are the gas coils. You can take out the tumbler. Also, you can just lay down and get to it here a little faster. And I got a Phillips head screw here and one here that I got to take out. It's kind of in a funny angle. So if you have one of these little angle tools, it can make it easier. All right. So these things uh, are just electromagnetic. They create an electromagnetic field. They're, we call them gas coils or solenoids. They only last a certain amount of time. And then they don't stay on long enough to create a really uh, hot flame. So you'll notice that the clothes just don't get dry. First thing to check is for an obstructed uh, vent tube. And if that looks fine, you look for that glow to make sure that the igniting system works. If you get a flame, but well, you're still not getting much heat, that means these things have worn out, which is very common. We're going to replace this bigger, fatter one first. I'm going to lift it up. You'll notice that uh, there's um, sometimes on these there's like a metal sleeve that'll sit on this. Might get caught in here, so you want to make sure you take that sleeve out to put on the next one. You can just pull off the modular connector. There's three prongs. We're going to replace that one first. That one's a little thicker. So all I'm going to do is just put that one on the modular connector, make sure the three terminals go in there nice and smooth. Put that on as far as it'll go, till it, basically until it clicks. Let's set that one on. I'm going to take off the skinnier one now. That one just has two terminals. I'm going to pull this off. Put on the little guy. These things are holding open a pin to let gas flow to give you a nice uh, flame. But they usually shut off too soon when they get worn out. They get kind of weak. Okay, that's all done. We're going to put this bracket back on. bracket has holes on it. And then these have pins. So these pins are indexing pins. They're going to go inside these holes. I'll wiggle them around until they index in. Those are indexed in now. I can see the white pins. I'll go ahead and put those two Phillips head screws back in. And it's going to do great now. It's going to dry really well. So a gas dryer that isn't drying well, first thing is check the vent tube. And then make sure it's nice and clean. It still doesn't do well. Make sure your filter is nice and clean. Still doesn't do well, and you have a you do have a flame. You have a glowing igniter and a flame, and it's probably these little, these little guys. Just call them gas coils or primary and secondary gas coils. Put in the second screw. I like this little angle tool made by uh, Dewalt. Makes it easier to get into tight spaces like this. They got it at Home Depot. 
Home Depot for about 25 bucks. There we go. All right. So this is going to lean a little bit. That's okay. It'll lean back when you when you put it back in. It's laying on a couple of wheels in the back, one there and one up here in the corner. And what holds it up in the front is this plastic thing is called the bearing. And then there's the front panel bearing surface is felt, holds it up, and the panel sits down into these little forks. So you have to kind of lift the panel up over and let it sit down. So that's the next step. These hole, hole here and a hole here, it's going to sit on those forks. So what I like to do is get this felt part bearing up inside the plastic one. Kind of line up the panel. But I'll lift this panel higher than this one and then set it down. Let's see if that'll work. I'm going to lift it up and engage those little things down low. That one's in. Yeah, I think we got it. So we're going to go ahead and add these screws back in. We're done. I'm going to tighten that one back up. Got another one on this side. I have to kind of line this up better, huh? So we're going to push in on the frame, line up those holes, and kind of wiggle, get that one started, tighten it up. It's a really cool design. These are great dryers. Call them uh, Series 70, Series 80, Series 90 dryers. So that's done. I'm going to close this one. Those two Phillips head screws back in. We'll go and put the put this back in. This isn't too bad, but I use my wire brush to get rid of some of this. Might just be lint. A lot of lint off of that. Back in. I set it for time dry. I can plug it back in. are really good dryers. If you ever need to find the model number, open this up. Usually you'll find a sticker. This one is model number 110.767.22694. Very good machine. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.